Shalom, shalom, shalom. This is the book of Jude, verse 24. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise power, our Savior, the glory and majesty, the minute of power, both now and ever, so be it. Giving all praises, our honor, and our glory to the Heavenly Father. And his only begotten son, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Yahav Kodash. Double honor and my teachers, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Yakin, who are right our sincere and serious doing the will of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Yahav Kodash. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. You all stay strong and stay mighty. So the brother, the disciple, Kosha Banyame from the Grand Chain, Great Millstone, Barbados. Um, just with a quick, <clears throat> a quick hit. Um, today is a day, and every day is a day that, um, you know, to be great and to praise Yahweh, Baal Shem Yahweh Shai. Every day is right, every single day. You know what I mean? Regardless of what you're going through, <clears throat> you know what I mean? Regardless of your situation. Right? Always give praises, honor, glory to the Heavenly Father. And it's only begun to say, Yahweh Baha'i Shem Yahweh Shai. Is that Yeah, brother. Every single day. Because, you see, once we, once the, um, <clears throat> once you get called home, when we, when we leave this earth, you know, there's no one here to, um, to show for, I mean, other men here, but if you, if you ask where we're coming from, like he, he chose you to glorify his name. He chose you to acknowledge his son's his, his son's name. You see? What's that precept in Corinthians? Let me get this. It is one one precept here if you can find it. I don't want to write it up in plantations or about for sure. Forgive me if any interruptions, but I know it's in the book of Corinthians, right? Our brothers that was in Corinth. You see? Not the actual heathens, you know what I mean? Um, so like a minute, just trying to find this preset here first. Um, first Corinthians chapter six, verse 19. What know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you? So the Holy Spirit comes from who? Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. He's flowing through us because he chose us, you see. So that's what he does in us, because we are the temple, not in these damn churches. We are the temple, brother. So the Lord dwells inside of us. You see? It says, which ye have of the most sight, and ye are not your own. So so really, we don't belong to ourselves, man. We, we belong to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, man. You need to remember this and understand this. For ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify the most sight in your body. And your spirit, which are the most sight. So that we be supposed to do what you on this earth, man. Glorify Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, man. Don't get too proud, too puffed up. Because this precept says, Wisdom will not enter into a malicious soul or flee. Uh, uh, I'm the flee one that is subject to sin. Now, what's, what, what I mean, subject to sin? Pride, uh, um, the beginning of pride is when, is when one departed from his maker. So when you start to get too prideful and boastful, the Lord slowly takes his spirit from you or you don't even recognize it. You see? You don't even recognize it until boom, you 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 out there left alone in the sea. You know what I mean? Surrounded by bear sharks and Lord didn't want to protect you. Because you became too proud. And what were you doing when the Lord shall visit you? You know what I mean? First Corinthians 7 and 23. Um and 20, sorry. Let every man abide in the same calling wherein he was called. So hear that, abide. The Lord called us, the Lord called you, the Lord called me. We must abide in this calling. It's good to say, he that is filthy, let him be filthy still. He that is wicked, let him be wicked still. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. You see? Right? Verse 21, And thou art thou called being a servant, art thou called being a servant, care not for it. But if thou mayest be made free, 
use it rather for he is for he is the, for he that is called in the Lord be a servant is the Lord's free man Woo! yeah likewise also he that is called being free is Hamashiach's servant you see that so we should be indebted to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai big man real thing because we freak up we mess up over here you see but because the Lord called us you know what I mean we, we got that like a, 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 a sense of liberty you know what I mean you say verse 23 ye are bought with a price be ye not therefore the service of men verse 24 brethren let every man remain he is called therein abide with the Moshe Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahushai so yeah man that, I just want to do this short video here you know what I mean um, he bought with a price, big man. It's like, so we, we shouldn't care what, what man thinks. We shouldn't care what this world thinks, big man. I know see saying there. I don't prompt me to do this video. I mean, yeah, this morning with this with that spirit, right? But just come across the road. They see Eve there getting judged. I know she stole something or what, but she just in a bare party in a, in a short um, topless shirt. And a man got shit there, grab her. I know he's undercover police or what. A lot of informers and things be in that area too, right? A lot of undercover police and things too, right? A lot of people there surrounding and watching. You know, you know, Israel is. You see? Like to laugh and mock. So, our day is coming. You see? But we have nothing to be ashamed of. Why? Because we glorify Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, big man. You see? So when you see your name on the news, or when they see my name on the news, or you know what I mean, in the newspaper, because let me tell you, this little country here, well, it too too small for not for you not to be known. You see? So when these things come to pass, don't be ashamed of the gospel. That's, I think that's another precept too. Don't be ashamed of the gospel. Standing up for this truth. You say? Because during difficult times, what can happen? A lot of raw people can be turned courts, big man. They can be turned courts, right? And they can side more with the devil. Just watch it. You see all these biblical movies, man? Sit down and watch it. Watch them, but now you got this understanding, watch it with the understanding, you say? But you, but you will see how a lot of raw people, right? A lot of raw people, boy. When when Pharaoh brought down the hammer, more right, the 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 the, the sided more with Pharaoh instead of the savior that came to save them. Is that? Right? So a lot of raw people can be turned cold. They can. That's the precept, they're gonna betray you, etc. But the precept says, um, yeah, this last one, boy, ain't ready for me yet. Um, that's in Peter, you think it is? First Peter 4 and 15, but let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief or as an evildoer or as a busybody in other men's matters. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian or an Israelite, right, a follower of Yahweh Shai, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify the more sight on this behalf. It's right, real thing, brother. Turn court definition a person who deserts one party or cause in order to join an opposing one. So, a lot of our people are going to be turned courts when Jacob's trouble is in full effect. I'm telling you, big man, I ask you, what I'm telling you? What you want these biblical movies, man? Ooh, boy, a lot of our people, boy, let me tell you, boy, because 
Yesterday is supposed to be quote, quote unquote good Friday. Right? Show me Friday in the Bible. Anyhow, so they had the, the Exodus move, uh, movies and things going out that was showing, and they showed Moses delivering us from Pharaoh. You know what I mean? They had it done in, in, in series. Is that it? And long story short, when the difficult times came, a lot of all people siding more with Pharaoh than with Moses. So the same thing happened today. The same thing happened today, brother. A lot of all people can side with the modern day Pharaoh, which is what Pharaoh means ruler, right? Who, who's ruling the earth today? He saw Edom. You see? And they can take that Kharagma, right? Brother from Canada did a video of shit. He was watching it, he dropped asleep. Too damn tired. But he still wants you, he still wants them. Um, he saw Edom. I want to figure funny here. He saw Edom once to mark the whole. Let me see if it's funny, brother. Um, this is why I wanted it to be short, boy. But <laughs> yeah, he's spirit. Um, right, he so wants to put his name. He so wants to put his name on mankind, right, God? He so wants to put his name on mankind because the brother here was going into how our DNA. In our DNA, the very foil of your DNA has a heavenly father's name in it, brother. You can imagine that? Yo, the, 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 you wake up this morning, you hold a piss, you get sad to eat, you do a number two, you had sex with a woman, or with your, or you even had sex with a man, you get to see a child running around. Right? You comb your hair. But your every being belongs to your Hawa Baha Shami Hawa Shay. Don't you understand that? Every fiber of your being be. Let me see if we get play here before they call me. The blonde city apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations, much love and respect to you. I came out there pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. Uh, this lesson is going to be entitled Esau wants to put his name on mankind and um the reason he wants to do that is because as the scriptures say he's trying to be like the most high he's trying to be like the heavenly father yahweh you know that's the pride of this man and um i'm going to show you in a series of videos that were shared, shared by a br uh, beloved brother that um that these that the heavenly fathers is already written within us you know there's different signs within us that showed that the Heavenly Father is uh, the creator and is the father of us and the, the owner of us. Okay, so matter of fact, let me play this real quick and I'm gonna play the next one. See, so it's, it's, it's showing here, the, the scientists are showing here that the name of the most high is within each breath is what they're trying to say here which that makes sense right that makes sense let's go to this one right matter of fact let's play that again so. see you notice they're, they're not saying yahweh no, notice the breath is not there's no way you can say yahweh it with this right so it would have to be Yahweh, right which 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 you know is similar to to, to breathing in and out <clears throat> so let's play this one hey, remember apostle broke it down too yeah uh comes for the word breath right i take comes for the word breath so he breathed in us <laughs> His name, brother. Look, this thing's so spiritual, boy. Look, anyhow, we continue. I saw the camera can't pick it up properly, man. Do you know that scientists have actually found the name of God in our DNA? While exploring the nucleic acids in our DNA, scientists actually found a sequence that spells the name of God. The sequence revealed these four letters, Yod, He, Fa, He, which actually spells the name of God. 
and this sequence is found in every person's DNA. It's the thumbprint of God proving that he's real. If you believe that God is real, like and share this, put a thumbs up in the comments, and go find me on YouTube for more. Right. And guess what? I'm not a scientist, but I believe this through faith because it makes sense, you know, for the Heavenly Father. I, I ain't a scientist neither. I didn't believe it to faith, brother. <laughs> Real thing, big man. Romans 1 for the things that were created. And let me, let me get out of here, man. I ain't gonna need a damn scientist. Although the, the scientists brought down what we already know within us. He, the Lord just said, look, look, let me show you what this here, look. Boom. You see that? It's called that nuclear acid. Boom, look. Boom, boom, boom. You know what I mean? You see, he saw like things tangible. In order for him to believe, nah, the just shall live by faith. You don't need Esau's uh, um, science to prove the existence of the Heavenly Father. Man, he's already written in us. Romans 1 and verse uh, 20. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. That's plain, brother. You all gonna fall, big man. Huh? All praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Apostle Tahar says something, man, that always stick with me. <clears throat> right? When you're going through, you, you, you trying times. When you give up, it's because you don't really believe in the Lord. You know what I mean? You don't really believe. That will always stick with me, boy. And whenever you get through my trust, big man, that words is sticking my brain. I know the other words that's sticking my brain too. King Masha. When it first came with this truth, King Masha, I heard King Masha said this. The Heavenly Father is the father of the nation of Israel. But we don't go to him. We go to the devil to get help. Another set, another statement that sticks, that stick out to me, man. But always remember them too. It's right. Always remember them two. Another one too, but you can't remember. But them two there. Anyhow, man. Scientists noticing the name of the true power in every breath, big man. Leave this through faith, because it makes sense, you know, for the heavenly Father to have His signature within 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 man. Jesus Christ. Right now, take a look at this. It says the secret. 144 cells we know that that number 144 is spiritual Ooh. you know signifying what 144,000 the elect it says i hope you heard about 144 mm. that being a divine number mm. well in in your thymus gland you have 144 aconenic ac cells and what aconenic mean uh, mean is these cells cannot die. Woo! Woo! Wow, 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 Woo! wow. wow. Woo! Now, so, so what about the elect? Woo! Right? The elect are, are, are promised to have what? Eternal, eternal life. life, man. Right? So those that... cells that cannot die. Yo! 144 echinemic cells. Oh, man, boy, I'm going to go on one. That represents the elect. Jesus, peace, man. This is basically these cells are immortal. Woo! These cells are connected to the divine infinite source. There is an, an all-knowing wisdom here in the center of your chest. The thymus gland is the door between us and infinity. Jesus Everything in nature God. is a formula. Everything is a mathematical equation. When we are pre presented with falsehood, the formula is not complete. And it, it makes the thymus gland shrink. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, let me read that again. Oh, when we are man. presented with falsehood, meaning lies, okay, the formula is not complete. You hear that? And it makes the thymus gland shrink, right? So these people, they're, fi they're filled with, with falsehoods and lies. Jesus. Right? So you know, their, their, their thymus gland got to be small. God right? damn, man. It says anything that is true opens hey, it hey, up. Hey, hey, I got to go, right? I got to go. But that's what he's so wrong you, the, the Lucifer race, which helps, uh, 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 um, your belief in the Heavenly Father to cease. Yeah, the man, the man studying all these things, man. So you know, if he give you this, 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 this formula, your, your, your what the brother mentioned there, I forget the words, like here, right? It can shrink where your belief in the Heavenly Father, like with the brother that was in UIC, I felt my faith was gone. Anyhow, man, I gotta move, man. I gotta move, man. Shalom, me, how about Hashem, me, I wish I could come, man. Praise the Lord, dearly, man.